And certainly I, I understand and I appreciate your patience for allowing us to speak with you and those who support the Opportunity Center and those who support the epidemic and the fight of homelessness. You know, one thing that I want to say that this time next week is going to be very tough because this time next week, those that you see today, those who are not able to be here today are going to be homeless. And what we're going, the reality is that you're going to see a 40,000 square foot building at seven o'clock empty. When we have 85 cots and we have 110 wool blankets and we have warm showers that our neighbors have been experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis, we're going to ride by the facility and we're going to see a, a vacant building while all of those that you see today is going to be out on the street in the cold. This time next week, the medical center that treats and serves those who need us the most are not going to be in operation. We've had agencies come from all across the state to see how we're working in partnership with the city to provide a day and night shelter, but not only that, a medical center. And now we're going to tell them that we're not going to be able to provide the medical resources that they need on a daily basis. This time next week, those that you see today, Mr. Jackson over there is 84 years old, celebrating a birthday today. They have no business to being on the street at 84 years old. He's been a resident of this community, a taxpayer of this community, and due to a voucher dysfunction, he's found himself, he and his lovely wife, at the shelter. But this time next week at 7 p.m., there won't be a shelter. Those people that you see today, the neighbors that you see today, will not have a place to be. But we'll ride by the center this time next week, and what should be open for those who need us the most, the lights will be closed on this time next week. So I ask that as a partner, we are a partner, the city we're a partner together, let us continue to partner to save those who need us the most. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Um, usually at this time, we, we don't respond to um, public comments. 